Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is a uh, Behave Wi-Fi Hub generation, second generation. So in this video, this is from Orbit. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a uh, Orbit Behave Wi-Fi Hub with your existing Orbit uh, timer. I have already a timer, let me show you. I already have one timer. Here is my timer. You can see the timer is on it is connected using the bluetooth to my phone but i want to use the hub so that i can control the device uh, at like from anywhere so that is the main reason so i'm going to show you how this is uh, going to be worked and this is generation 2 this orbit timer i have another video with this how to install and schedule and uh, uh, do the test everything about this one but uh this is connected with my phone by, via bluetooth now i am gonna install this wi-fi diva hub so that it will be totally smart so before we start let me show you what comes inside the box again friends uh this uh orbit timer that works with only second generation of hub so make sure you buy the second generation um, whoever like whenever you are buying so make sure you do that and another important information is it needs a power uh, it needs power so it's uh, wherever you are uh, working like it needs power and you see the design is the hub is actually this small this is the USB power so it's just like this it is very small and they are giving a this is the instruction how to do it please go through this manual and follow the instruction let me tell you the price i got it from lowe's for 29 dollar but if amazon if you are looking for in amazon it is a little bit expensive in amazon so i would suggest you go to lowe's and you will get cheaper price so i got this one for 29.99 so that's the price this is the quick start guide and i will go through this actually what they say is first you have to install the app i already installed the app since i already already uh, have that uh, device that hub uh, like the timer i already have you can see the timer is already programmed and it is already there it is there so it is already the my phone is connected using the bluetooth so i'm gonna install the hub and i'll turn off the bluetooth and i'll show you how it is working or not okay so let's first uh, since i already have this one app installed now i'm gonna go to uh, power the hub then i'll follow all the steps whatever it is showing here so it should be quick easy let's do it friends one more information is this one you need to keep in such a place it should be indoor it is not for outdoor use so make sure this is not outdoor use and you need to keep in such a place that this device this de this can be in range of this device bluetooth range of this device plus the wi-fi so right now for testing purpose i am keeping it here because i have a power source here if you look at here i have a power source here for testing purpose i am just saving uh, connecting it here but uh, mainly uh, you need to find a place because it is not for outdoor use this is, should be indoor somewhere so but the good thing is the timer uh, timer uh, is actually very high range it says 150 feet so it is very high range and i just connected to power you can see it is uh, the blue light is flashing and it is in pairing mode no oh no sorry it is not in pairing mode now i have to put it in pairing mode uh, It is now in pairing mode 
and I have to add a device my behave devices add a device I'm using add a device section this is a new device I have a code oh that's why they are saying write down the MAC address I didn't write down the MAC address let me write down the MAC address and put the MAC address here so that that will be easier or let's see if I don't have uh, this is a new device this is a second gen Wi-Fi high up write down the MAC address plug into here this is flashing yes this is flashing we have found a device see it is easy the MAC address I think this is the only one let me see if it gets connected to that or not continue connecting the device so it is easy it could be like if you can write them uh, MAC address uh, then you can directly using the MAC address you can do it do that but um, here advance uh, but I did that other way uh, Wi-Fi is not correct one let me connect to the right, right Wi-Fi network yeah but network SSD it is not showing the right Wi-Fi okay that's how you have to do and let me enter the password connect to the network and you can see it is all it is green now it is connected now it is checking the f um, updates so it is now updating let it get updated so the installation is not that difficult looks like let it get updated by this time we can take some break friends as you can see it's 95% uh, done so <clears throat> even though they say it should be done in few minutes but it took uh, more than five minutes almost nine to ten minutes it took and you can see it is restarting actually the device is restarting uh, it was green but looks like after 99% start it restarting you can see it's restarting the device and let's see when it comes up it's actually installing the update looks like now it is green and it shows update complete you can see it shows update complete so congratulations you'll be from one moment while we connect to your device so it is trying to connect uh, let's see what it does say so update complete if I go here next checking firmware update now it is showing a device is up to date next the address let me put the address information so it is telling me set up another device or st start using my device start using my device so 
now I'm not sure how this will be connected let me try first friends so I just turned off the Bluetooth you can see my Bluetooth is fully turned off totally turned off and I am on Wi-Fi now I am opening the app I am trying to be far away from my device and you can see here it is showing Wi-Fi and it is connected so let me turn on manual watering that's our test that the Wi-Fi should work so you can see you see this uh, this one comes and you see my watering started you see it started watering uh, so and it is showing everything the watering started so and my device is far away it's over there it's not close to me it's far away and you can see the watering started let me turn off the water you can see the watering started let me turn it off I turned off the water and you see the notification came watering is turned off and it's done let me turn it off and let me turn off the blue uh, Wi-Fi as well I turned off the Wi-Fi so it is now on 5g on my uh, internet and now try to open the app and water manually and you can see the notification came plus watering started you can see the watering started uh, the watering already started so you can see that so looks like this is working perfectly and you don't need to do too many settings as soon as you connect it to the uh, the, the device with uh, uh, like install it and in the app the app does everything for you uh, so you don't need to do too many things with this so let me turn it off because this is not the right time to do the watering and you can see the notification came and watering stopped you can see it stopped so i think this is working perfectly and let me take it off from here let me just take it off i take it off and my phone and my bluetooth is off you can see bluetooth is off wi-fi is off and if i try to connect this one if i let me try to turn it off and try to log in again and if i let's say i want to turn on the water you can see nothing is happening nothing is happening you can see that nothing is happening because it's not connected because the device is on my hand and it is not connecting connected so the test that we just did is perfectly correct that uh, it was using this uh, device to uh, connect to the connect see you can see that uh, uh, Wi-Fi signal is uh, crossed out you can see this so this is working perfectly so I put it back and you can see it is now getting activated and it is turned on and let me now again 
open the app my Wi-Fi is off that is fine oh you can see uh, it just it just started now executing that uh, operation that I said uh, before connecting so it now just started executing so let me turn it off because I don't want it to run and you will see that it is turned off it will uh, yeah it is turned off so this is working perfectly this is working perfectly and so and if I go to my devices I should see both yes you can see both of my devices are showing and both are showing connect connected so um, this hub is connecting this both device with um, so that I can use it like wirelessly smartly so that's all about this video friends let me know how do you like this video and if you have any thought or any suggestion please put it in the comment box and please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you